hi everyone welcome to js cafe and in today's video we are going to solve a very interesting problem that is scurrying in javascript without wasting any time let's get started so um a curring function is basically a function that can accept multiple arguments uh, which means that uh, on every function invocation will return a function that would again accept an argument and this would continue until we have uh, spec uh, we have crossed the specified number of arguments called so um, for the given question uh, i'll be taking the argument length as 5 uh, given that this particular function sum will accept uh, 5 arguments and uh, order can be anything uh, the sum function can accept all the three all the five arguments in one go or either it can batch in multiple ways uh, for example one two three four in one go and fifth in the last call or one two three four five all in separate calls or it can be either one two three and four five or it can be one two three four five or one and two three four five so the order can be anything and uh, in all these cases the output should be same nothing should be changed so this is what we have to uh, accomplish and the output should be 15 because 5 plus 4 9 10 and 5 15 so the output should be 15 in this case so we'll have to create a currying function that can accomplish this task so let's dive into the coding so in this function uh, what i'll do is um, i'll first of all check that uh like for this case that if i am getting all the arguments in one go if that is the case if if args dot length is equals to uh args length then uh return uh the sum of all the uh arguments and by the way if you are not familiar with this uh this is a rest operator so we can since we are not sure of on how many number of arguments this sum function can accept so we can use the uh, rest operator to convert the all the uh, arguments arguments uh, into an array form so args in, is an array of all the all the arguments and and since we need to return the sum of the array uh, what i can do is uh, args dot reduce uh, initial value and current value and this should be initial value plus current value and a default value initial default value should be zero so this will return the sum of the array if this is not the case like uh, i have not got all the arguments in one go what i need to do is i just need to uh, return a function take a return some um but i'll say recursive function recursive function so we we'll, let's go and define this recursive function so cons recursive functions is a function and this recursive function will also accept uh, arguments okay so this is the case where um, we are not getting all the arguments in one go so we got one two three four uh, in the first place in the args now uh, in the another function call we should get 5 so this recursive function is what is our another function call to accept the uh, argument 5 so in the args2 we will get 5 as in uh, in the array form and will return this function so this is what happens that in the function in the first function call uh see in the first function call we got this recursive function right so we have this recursive call and since we this condition fails uh, all the arguments were not passed in the one go will come to this else and in this else we will directly return a recursive function okay so that uh, we can accept this 5 as a argument so whenever this function is called recursive function what we need to do is we need to do a args equals to args dot con get args 2 this is what i am doing like I am getting one, two, three, four in this array, and I am getting five in this part. So I need to combine all these together. 
so what i need to do is i need to bind this uh concat these two uh, arrays together so that i can have an array of one two three four and five all together and i store that in args okay so i have updated the this args variable and what i need to do is i need to check that if uh i am matching the happy condition i will copy paste this and write it over here so uh, i see that again that if args dot length uh, again is equals to the uh, total arguments that we are accepting then um iterate over the complete array and return the sum of the values okay uh, if this is not the case what you need to do is else you need to return the recursive function because uh let's suppose in this case uh what this one two three four five so you got one in the args and you returned a recursive function in the second argument you got two in this now since uh, uh now args become one comma two and this is not equals to five right the length is, is two and the expected length was five so it is not equals to then i again return a recursive function which will again is accept three which will again return a recursive function that would accept four then five and finally when i received five over here these this if condition is true and i return the sum of the array so let's try to go ahead and run this once node three dot js perfect so i got 15 uh, as the output over here because uh, that is what was expected out of this and pretty simple uh, question uh, is just that you need to be sure of the boundaries of the arguments length and you can uh, achieve the, the culling function so um, do mention your uh, questions or queries uh, in the comment section i'll try to address them and if you like this video hit the like button and share this video with your friends and peers and this was all in this video uh, see you in the next one